Hey folks, Ray Hollister here for Deemable Tech. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to update your iPhone or your iPad to the latest version of iOS 8.1.3. So you may have noticed on your iPhone or iPad that there was an update sent out recently. You'll see a little notification on your settings icon. And I just wanted to show you how to get that new update. The latest update has uh, some new features that reduces the amount of storage required to perform a software update, fixes an issue that prevented some users from entering their Apple ID password for messages and FaceTime. I've actually experienced that one, so I'm going to be glad to get rid of that problem. It also addresses an issue that caused Spotlight to stop displaying app results and adds new configuration options for education standardized testing. So I'm not really sure what that's about, but it sounds pretty cool. And it fixes an issue which prevented multitasking gestures from working on the iPad. So just some bugs and feature updates, nothing huge, it's not going to change anything, but it's always a good idea to get the latest updates. So let me flip over and show you the screen on the iPhone and I'll walk you through it. Alright, so we're going to open the iPhone, unlock it, and you'll notice here on the settings icon there's a number one indicating that you have an update available, so we're going to tap settings. And then you'll see down at general there's a number one indicating that that's where your update is. Tap on general and then see there it is again on software update. Tap on software update and there you'll see the update available. Now to learn more you can just click on the learn more link and you'll see what is available in this settings update. You go back and click install now. You'll have to enter your passcode because you can't update without a passcode if you have your passcode set on your iPhone. Then you'll read over the terms and conditions, hit agree, or just tap agree, you don't have to hit it. Tap agree again. Now it's going to verify the update if it's already downloaded. It'll take a short while, depending on your connection. That'd be a good time to go get a cup of coffee, popcorn, whatever. Tea, maybe you're into tea, I don't know. You know, you can find something else to do while you're waiting. Usually, it doesn't take very long to verify the update, but it is now. Oh, here we go. So, after it gets done verifying, it's going to reboot, and you're going to get this screen. I couldn't show you the screenshot because it obviously disconnected from my Mac, but you'll notice there's a tiny little bar there, right there. See it? Barely moving. So, after it gets done verifying the update then it will start running the update and it will move that bar slowly but surely until it finishes at that point you're done that's all you have to do your update has been finished now a couple of things a couple of reminders you always 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 want to make sure that you back up your iPhone before you run any updates make sure you got a good backup of it make sure also that you sync your iPhone with iTunes so that any media you have on there pictures music videos all of those are saved to your iPhone. All right, well, I hope that helps you out. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like the video and also make sure to subscribe to Deemable Tech on YouTube. For Deemable Tech, I'm Ray Hollister.